hi there welcome to edupediaworld.com you're watching the videos on circles now in this video we'll discuss uh, how we can use perpendicular from the center of a circle to any chord how the theorems related to this concept can be used to solve the questions related to circles then we'll discuss the theorems or we can use different theorems or we can use a concept and which are very important from the exam point of view you have to watch this video very carefully so let's get started with the first concept which is introduction to perpendicular from the center of a circle now let's say we have a circle like this and we have a chord AB now suppose if this is a center O and we draw a perpendicular OM like this and we also let's say we also join this O, A and OB. So these are the radius. So we can say that OA is equals to OB. Right? Now this is a general concept. Let's say if we draw uh, perpendicular to any chord from the center of a circle. Now there is one more concept which we will discuss in the theorems and we will also prove the theorems. So the concept is that if we draw any perpendicular to the chord from a center of a circle then that perpendicular divides the chord into two equal halves. So we can say that MA will be equals to MB. So we'll discuss each and every concept related to these perpendicular when it is drawn from the center of a circle. So let's discuss the theorem first. Now, theorem says that the perpendicular from the center of a circle to a chord bisects the chord. So, so let's see how we can prove this theorem. Now to prove this theorem, let's see first if we can draw a circle like this, right? We have a circle like this and let's say this is a center and let's say this is a chord. Let's say this is a chord A, B and let's say we draw perpendicular and we join these two and let's say this is M and this is O. Now. So let's say we have a perpendicular from the center. So this is a perpendicular. So this will be 90 degree each to chord. So now we need to prove that this equals to this means we need to prove that it bisects the chord AB. Now let's say how we can prove this. So first of all, we need to write given. It's given that OM is perpendicular to AB. Right now. So we need to prove that MA equals to mb so let's see how we can prove this now if you consider triangle o a m and triangle o b m so in this triangle we can say that o a equals to o b why because they are the radius of circle right and we can say that om equals to om they are common now they are each common side and we can say that angle o m a equals to angle o m b we can say that each 90 degree we can you can see it properly so this angle equals to this angle each 90 degree now we have three condition one two and three now so we can say that triangle OAM is congruent to triangle OBM which condition so let's check it first we have one side OM and we have right angle right and we have hypotenuse equal so we can say that these two triangles are congruent by RHS. Why? Because we have one right angle, one hypotenuse equal and one common side equal. So we can say that these two triangles are congruent by RHS. So we can say that MA equals to MB by CPCT. So this is how we can prove these type of theorems. So let's discuss the next theorem, which is theorem number two. Now. The theorem says that the line drawn 
through the center of a circle to bisect a chord is perpendicular to the chord. Now, the theorem says that if we draw a line from the center of a circle, so this is the center of a circle to the chord, so we need to prove that this line is perpendicular to the chord. So we need to prove that this angle and this angle is each 90 degree. Right? Now, so let's, we need to write first what is given. So first write what is given. It is given that the, the line when it is drawn from the center of a circle bisects the chord means it's given that this equals to this it's given that ma equals to mb right now let's see what we need to prove so we need to prove that om is perpendicular to ab so let's discuss the proof now right now so if again if we can consider triangle O A M and triangle O B M. So in this triangle we can say that M A equals to M B. So which is given right then we can say that O A equals to O B the other radius of circle right and we can say that again om equals to om common side right so we can say that triangle o a m is congruent to triangle o b m by SSS right so we can say that now angle O M A is also 90 degree and is equals to and equals to angle O M B right so these two angles are equal so we can say that angle O M A plus angle O M B equals to 180 degree why because AB is a straight line right so now these two angles are equal so we can write angle two times angle O M A equals to 180 degree so angle O M A equals to 180 divided by 2 so which is 90 degree so we can say that angle O M A equals to 90 degrees. So, which proves that O M is perpendicular to A B. So, this is how we can prove these type of theorems. So, thank you once again for watching this video on edupediaworld.com. Keep watching further videos. Have a nice day.